do drink? Not on duty, miss. Do you smoke? Not on duty, miss. Well, do you mind if I smoke? No, of course not, miss. Thank you so much. trying to give it up. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. You will have heard the news already that Fenella Fielding died earlier this week. She was an extraordinary actor with an incredible career. Started out on the stage doing Shakespeare and Euripides and Ibsen. She played the title role in Hedda Gabler, which the Times said was one of the experiences of a lifetime. She was a friend of Francis Bacon. She enchanted Fellini. She apparently kept a volume of Plato by her bedside. She was incredibly well read, but for many people, she was best known for her role in Carry On Screaming. Indeed, her memoir was entitled Do You Mind If I Smoke, which is the classic line from Carry On Screaming. For me, Fenella Fielding will always be the voice, the blue voice from that brilliant film, Dougal and the Blue Cat. I've said this before, it's one of the films that's a favorite of my life. I saw it when I was a kid, I saw it very, very early on, and it's this extraordinary, surreal, strange work in which Fenella Fielding plays the mysterious blue voice. Who are you? And Fenella Fielding had a voice like no one else. Who are you? The cat. Buxton. Ah, the cat. The blue cat. When I was a kid, I had a, a soundtrack album of Dougal and the Blue Cat. It was literally the soundtrack of the whole film, with Eric Thompson doing all the roles except for the blue voice, which was played by Fenella Fielding. I was really, really glad to have met and, in fact, worked with Fenella Fielding some time ago, back in the 90s. I used to present a film show for Radio 1, and I co-presented it with Mary Ann Hobbs. And one week, Mary Ann Hobbs was off, and the people at Radio 1 said, look, if you could have anybody at all to co-present the show, who would you like? I think they thought I was going to choose a pop star. I said, is there any possibility of getting Fenella Fielding? Because I would love to work in a radio studio with Fenella Fielding. And they did. She came along. I think she reviewed Crimson Tide. I can't remember what she said at all, because it was just listening to that voice was so amazing. Like Mercedes McCambridge, she had what people refer to as a radio perfect voice. You can just get completely lost in the sound of her voice. See? Now that's much more comfortable. I do a show, a regular monthly show, on stage at the BFI South Bank, and she was going to be our guest a few months ago, and then at the very last moment she was taken ill. But I did get to meet her, and she remembered a story that I had forgotten about, which was that having brought my kids up on Dougal and the Blue Cat, at one point I had a phone call with her to organise something, and I said, would you mind terribly just speaking on the phone to my child, because they love Dougal and the Blue Cat. She said, no, of course. She was always very gracious. And I gave the phone to my child and Fenella Fielding did the blue is beautiful, blue is best, I'm blue, I'm beautiful, I'm best. It was a thrilling moment. She did have an absolutely extraordinary career. She was recently made an OBE, which prompted a really terrific cartoon. It's a real shame that she's not with us anymore, but the films will be with us forever, as will the recording of that extraordinary voice. Blue is beautiful. Blue is best. I'm blue. I'm beautiful. I'm best.